Well, here we go again. We are playing as Robert Giscard, and he was Norman, which is based off the Vlandians. Again, I'm going to skip a lot of this because I know a lot of you have already seen this. We get extra renown from battle and more income while serving as a mercenary and a little bit more production from villages bound to castles. And we're not calling army, so that doesn't matter. Now, Robert Giscard was reported to be quite a big gentleman, so we're going pretty tall here. Not really sure what he looks like, but hopefully it's something like that. And we're going to be spending a lot of time mounted and using pole arms and we're also going to specialize in social so baron's retainer is perfect your way with people's good social charm and leadership we're scaling up all that stuff sold products at the market a little bit of trade you trained with the cavalry gives us one point into endurance and then again riding in pole arms so we'll use that and then we'll finish off with you treated people well so this is perfect no points are wasted this is exactly what we need and for a banner we're going with the red lion with the yellow background and he was from the family de Hauteville and of course Robert Giscard. Now we're playing on Bannerlord difficulty. We're going to leave everything the way it is. Now let's check out some of the characters we're going to be interacting with. We've got Ibn al-Hawak, who was one of the emirs of the island of Sicily. I believe he split it in half with one other emir. Harold Godwinson, the king of Batania. He was around at that time and he was uh, in England. And we have the ruler of Kuzay, Suleiman ibn Kutulmish. He was the ruler of the Sultanate of Rum. We've got Henry IV for the Northern Empire, who was the Holy Roman Emperor at that time. Emperor Constantine X of the Byzantine Empire, who's going to be controlling the Southern Empire. Harold Sigurdsson, who was the ruler of Sturgia. In real life, he was the ruler of Norway. And William the Bastard, who was actually the king of Normandy at that time. Well, not quite, but close. And finally, we've got Pope Nicholas II, who was definitely a thorn in the side of Robert Giscard. Hopefully, we'll be getting into it with this guy. So let's start with our character build. We're going to go pretty heavy into the, all the social skills, charm, leadership, and trade. We're going to be maxing out Stuart only with focus points, probably not intelligence. And I think we'll also, well, for sure gonna max out writing and polearm. And I would like to take either one-handed or two-handed, most likely one-handed, cause we're gonna be wanting to use a shield most of the time. And then probably a little bit of athletics and maybe some smithing just so that we can unlock the endurance and the extra focus point right here, either control, uh, sorry, vigor. So we'll be looking to get both of those, but I don't think we need max endurance. So let's go ahead and put points into social first. I think we'll need at least two extra into endurance and then the rest we can just pump into vigor. And we're probably not gonna be doing any tournaments. So let's go with the extra perk for kids. Now I don't suspect we'll be using too much of this stuff in the early game. We're gonna mostly be doing combat. So a little bit of athletics, we'll just put one point into that. We'll probably wanna put a few points into one-handed and most of the rest are gonna to wanna to go into here. So let's just max these out. We'll put a little bit into one-handed athletics just so we can deal with bandit gangs maybe take over an alleyway or two and then we'll go from there so this this is how we'll start and hopefully that makes sense how we'll progress we'll we'll probably also need a little bit of roguery at some point but that's not really that big of a deal right now now for the units that we're able to use we're only able to use mercenary troops in the combat fields now for taking over gang alleys we could just put whatever it's not that big of a deal because we're not actually fighting with them we're just putting them in there as a placeholder and we could pick up our bro our brother and I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher this again but it's Roger, Roger de Hauteville. So that was his brother that he actually campaigned with in Italy, and I thought it might make a little bit more sense, uh, thanks to a suggestion from a comment to have him included from the start. So let's take a look at his stats. So Roger, and I'm probably just going to say Roger because I can't do the back of your mouth R thing for French. You, I don't know how you guys do it, but when you're speaking fast, that's crazy, man. But uh, so Roger basically is going to be, I think we'll have him taking over a gang alleyway in the beginning we'll just leave him there so he's got a little bit of combat skills and then we probably won't be boosting up anything else we'll probably just leave him like this and uh, maybe smithing at the most so anything he gets as far as, and, and i'm doing this just so you guys know this makes it so much easier when you're managing you know 200 companions to just set them up the way you want them and then don't spend any more of the focus points or attribute points unless you're doing something like scouting or medicine or whatever but you know set them up like this then all you have to worry about is selecting perks and then if they have upgrades you just leave them so that's how that's what we're doing a little bit differently in this one so he'll be mostly riding combat with a pole arm but we also want him to be decent on foot so he can help us clear out gang alleys but we don't have enough troops to do that just yet so let's go find some and then they have what five and three so we could probably do the back street here with three people i think we could probably handle that let's actually buy a little bit of food because we are kind of starving so we'll do that we'll go to a local village and see if we can pick up some troops so we only want the cheapest stuff i guess that these are mostly placeholders and we only need five, so we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and get our brother, Roger. We'll bring him in, and then we want to go to the back street. 
and we spawned at the opposite end so we'll take our brother roger and we'll go work our way down there don't be shy and let's make sure yep he does have a sword so we're good sometimes when you spawn somebody in they just don't spawn with anything so let's go ahead and take this dude out oh there's actually three oh, okay we don't want him to kill our brother Oh, nice. He got him. Good job, Roger. And we're going to take over the alley. We'll, we'll use our brother. And like I said, we'll just throw all the troops that we can that way. Man, he got jacked up there. Good thing he didn't die. That would have been actually kind of funny if he died in the first battle. So we got another level. Let's go ahead and put it into athletics. We do want to get athletics up so that we can get up to these higher levels. We're going to be able to pick up, like I said, another vigor and another endurance. So we'll definitely want at least those. Now we don't need to put a ton of attribute points to get there. We'll get them even with only two, but we put two in just to speed it up a little bit. And then obviously vigor will go at up to eight and then stop. Everything else can go into social and then other, other places. So that'll bring our income up to plus 90. It's definitely not going to be the same as the previous game that we had because Banner King's changes the way income works drastically so numbers are huge there whereas here it's a bit a bit more reserved so we could pick up some mercenary troops but we don't really have the money to handle it and then i think most of these guys are going to cost quite a bit yeah not, not actually 937 is not bad but we can't afford it right now anyway so let's go ahead and do maybe a little bit of trading we'll go check out some of these other towns uh we can pick up Nope, they don't have any. And we can't ride the round C yet because we don't have the riding skill. What are we at? Yeah, we got to pick up a little bit more XP there. Yeah, actually, let's let's pass on that. Let's um maybe we can go do some easy quests. Not gang leader need recruits. That's not an easy one. And help with brigands gonna be a tough one because we don't have a whole lot of fighting capability. Yeah, these guys are everywhere, man. Yeah, looks like all the quests are gonna be need help, and I can see why. <laughs> man, there's a lot of them. I right, escort merchant caravan, they probably won't give it to us. But we can pick up eight, uh, sorry, four troops here. And these are decent. The Hidden Hand Stradiotis. That would take up almost all of our money. Let's do it. And we should be able to afford the wage because we have an alley. Yeah, so these are pretty good looking crossbowmen that also have a two-handed mace. So they've got the sledgehammer. They should be pretty good, I think. I mean, they're not amazing, but uh, we should be able to take out looters at least. Or even these. Uh, only seven we could probably handle. Now, it said a clan was already destroyed. Let's see who got destroyed here. Oh, the revolutionaries. That's a fake clan. Now, a lot of these guys are actually not interested in fighting, which means we could probably defeat them. So let's go ahead and pick up a quest for doing it. Might as well get paid twice. And it's not going to give us a lot, but we'll, we'll take a little bit. Now, fighting 13 of these low tier, probably going to be easier than fighting eight of these higher tier. But man, there's just there's guys everywhere. Oh, we can't get away from this guy, can we? He's really fast. Yeah, the only chance we have is to dump these guys, and we just paid for them. And I'm not sure what kind of troops they have, but they're probably pretty good. The Badnin, let's see, look. Oh, they're not actually that great. Yeah, let's see if we can... Uh, it's probably not going to be a good fight, but let's at least see what we can do. All right, we don't have a whole lot of options here. We're going to have to get behind some cover, so we don't... I guess we can get some shots off. These guys aren't that high tier, so the odds that they're going to hit their shots with only four of them is is probably fairly slim but you know we'll, we'll make the best of it let's see what we can do i mean if we lose all our guys and we're about to go down we could just back out and surrender just to make sure we don't die yeah they are shooting they got two people and they hit us on their first shot that's pretty incredible let's go do get some damage on these guys all right their cab are coming in on us let's see if we can take out some of these archers first Yeah, it's going to be tough without a whole lot of skill, but now they're, no, they're not quite on our guys yet. Let's see if we can delay these guys. We can get more shots on them. Yeah, our best chance here is to just delay, delay, delay. We let our guys get as many hits in as they can. All right, there's one down. There's two down. There's three down. Beautiful. All right, they've got a couple cav left. Oh, they've got a lot of cav. They've also got a lot of range units. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, here comes one. We got to stop them from charging in at least. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do a whole lot other than just keeping them from getting charge damage on us. But that's going to be... Oh, see, like that. That's going to be hard to stop. 
And you know what we need to do actually is we need to get out of the spot. I thought we might have a little cover from the cab, but that's not the case. Not right there, we don't. So let's get over here. They'll be able to charge us from one direction. Which kind of limits them. We might have a better chance. Here we go. So let's see if we can get some hits. All right, there we go. And then if we get stuck in place, we can pull out that two-handed mace. Or maybe get a lucky shot on him. There we go. We're just body blocking at this point, which is fine. All right, come on, boys. Two-handed mace. Blood them to death. Ah, they're just not getting that many hits. All right, well, we're surviving a little bit. Is there a better spot that we can wait? Yeah, it would be nice if we were enclosed in more than more than just one side. Everyone we could try right here. Move. Oh, this guy's stuck. Oh, get your get your maces out. Yeah, we need to get over to the side. All the way over there. Let's just group everybody in that little little cubby. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a kill. Don't let him out. Oh, man. Yeah, we need to take out these these ranged units too cuz they're going to they're going to cause havoc on us. As soon as we let our guard down, he's going to shoot, right? Yep. That's exactly what happened. Luckily he missed. We can get a few stabs in. Nope. We're missing everything. Let's get back and help. Oh, there we go. We got one. Oh, we just lost two. Probably from charge damage. They're not really getting hits in, but their cav are doing a lot of damage. Alright, here we go. They're stuck. I think we just got hit hard. Yeah, that was bad. Alright, we took one out. We need to get a good face shot or something. Oh, they took our horse out. That's probably it. <laughs> no! right, there's one, one archer down. Alright, we're gonna dish it as my, best we can. Oh man, he went through a shield. I I must have hit one of the buttons right. I must have hit the bash button right as it, it came out. I mean, we almost had these guys, actually. I, I'd be curious to see how much HP they have. It, those cav are really the only reason they're winning, because we, we did pretty well against them otherwise. This guy's going to get stomped right now. Oh, he's surviving. I don't know how he's surviving. No, he's out. Oh, that's so funny. We actually killed their uh, their leader. <laughs> Does that mean their their party disbands? Yeah, that means they disbanded. So they captured us, but because we killed the leader, immediately disbanded. Nice. Now, we still have... No, we don't. I was going to say, we still have some guys because not all of them died in that battle, but that's not the case. We actually died. Early days of Robert de Hauteville is not going too well. But on the bright side, we still have our alley. So let's hang out here and wait a little bit. And we picked up a couple perks. We're going to go full speed for charge damage because that makes the most sense. And then we're going to be mounted most of the game. So we'll go cavalry. In between these two, let's just uh, let's go one handed first. Let's max this out and then we can put some more points into athletics. Yeah, having that gang alleyway is really nice right now because it is keeping us afloat, allowing us to get back into the game. Here we go. I think we could probably take on a group of three. Famous last words, right? Now, let's not go head on with them because that's kind of like a 50-50 chance. Let's just outmaneuver them. Here we go. So we'll let them turn and then we're going to cut them off and try and flank them from the back. Or at least maybe not charge all three at once. We'll go one on one. Our, our horse isn't really fast enough for us to maneuver like that. But it would be nice if we could. Now, we could also use the trees. We can make it so that one of them runs into a tree instead of, uh, you know, 2v1. So let's do that. Let's use the trees to our advantage. Oh, this guy's actually going to hit. Yep. 
So one down. Good block. Now this guy does not have a pull arm, so he should be a bit easier to take out. Now his his posture is almost gone, so if he keeps blocking, he's gonna end up on the floor. All right, he's going way out there. Let's actually take his horse out. All right, this guy's gonna be coming head on. Let's take him out then. And we might want to go for the horses then if they're gonna block everything. So we might switch it up. Yeah, let's go back for this guy. Ooh, his horse is almost out. And we can stop and go for this guy again. Man, how is that horse still standing? We already hit him once. He's got a tough horse. Alright, let's take him out. Actually, there we go. I was going to say, let's not take the horse. Because I figured he would drop his guard after he came down after the rear. Alright, how dare you hit my horse. Let's take the horse out. This guy's blocking too much. Now, again, he's got only a one-hander, so he doesn't have good range. We'll put him down. Or every time he blocks, once he loses his posture, he's going to get some, uh, some breakthrough damage. So we'll just whittle him down. You are dead. 13. But he's almost gone. We could even back out and let the horse do the damage, but that's fine. We'll just take him out. Three down. We won that. Got a one and a half an ounce. We got our first victory in our belt. We got a little bit of XP. Let's go. Right, we are taking these guys prisoner because we will sell them off. And we can't take the... We, we can take the chargers, but we can't actually use them. And yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff. Look at that. Looks like crap, but I guess it's an upgrade still. We pretty badly need a helmet. If we get hit in the head, it's pretty much instant death. Oh, let's not get captured here. We can sell these horses for quite a lot. So again, with the rules of the campaign, we're not able to sell gear, but animals. So like horse armor, we cannot sell. Horses, livestock, anything on the miscellaneous tab, we can sell. So these chargers will definitely fetch a good price. I would like to keep at least one because we're going to want to use that once we're able to. Let's see, what, what do we need? 70 riding skill? That's not going to have for a while, but I don't know. We'll see. We, we're not going to be hurting penalty right now anyways with just one. So we'll keep them. And then I think that's all we got. Oh, no, actually, we got a bunch of stuff. So let's hang on to weapons because we will smelt them down at some point. We probably want to keep a shield or two. We're going to need that at some point for people that we hire. Let's just keep one. Oh, what am I doing? We can't sell. <laughs> all right, let's let's redo that. Sorry. We could sell this stuff at a village once we have have a bunch of it but right now we can only sell the horse all right so we're gonna get 3600 from that that's quite a bit and we can take some brotherhood novice so we're gonna be starting with some fresh guys here actually they're not fresh and i don't really want to use bow and arrow as much this campaign i was hoping to use mostly crossbow but you know at this point these are mercenaries we're just gonna have to use them and we can sell these prisoners for 100 so we're doing okay we're making decent money and let's have a chat with our first companion here mr chad Steele. so you'll notice we've got a similar load order for the people that we hired it's only fair because not everybody got a chance um, so we're just going to keep the same order so we'll hire him into the party we don't really have good gear so this is going to be kind of rough but we'll make the best of it so again pole arm with the shield and a nice horse we don't even have horse armor for him so that's what it's going to be and we'll put another point into one-handed and for the trade perk we're not going to be selling any equipment so we'll be going with trade goods so we'll take wholesaler normally appraiser is way better but obviously for this campaign it's a little different and we just need one more party destroyed let's go find somebody man those raiders are pretty scary so we definitely don't want to go anywhere near them they are faster than us too not by a lot but we don't want to get stuck in a bad spot but let's go after this group of eight maybe no we don't want to go near the raiders so let's let them get away yep here they come but we'll just have to kite around them and we're actually running out of food oh he just locked in on us out of nowhere and he's got like a thousand movement speed faster than we do okay we're actually not that much worse off than what they're at and they're all cavalry so what we're gonna do Archer! is we're actually gonna Arrow, hold arrows we're going to go shield wall. Horsemen, forward! Cavalry, and we need to get move! we need to get the uh, chat out of here. We could actually do we, we could actually have him dismount. Yeah. That's not not a bad idea. I wish these guys would use their pole arm. I don't know why they're not. They really do need to use their pole arm. Just go ahead and dismount. All right, here we go. We should get some hits. It looks like they threw most of their pole arms. And 
And we'll use our horse and our shield to try and block. Oh, our horse is almost dead. Right, we're going to throw him in there just so they're all in the same. Everyone! Let's forward! turn and try and meet them each time. All right, there we go. We got one down. Almost two down, two down. I'm really worried about that, the leader though. That guy's got tons of armor. All right, where are they coming in next? All right, they're Everyone! coming from this Move! way, boys. Let's turn. Get your freaking pole arms out, man. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, there's another one down. There's the leader. We're just not gonna have much luck against him. He's got so much armor, but we just gotta, we gotta poke him, poke him to death. That's all we can do. All right, we'll turn, we'll use this horse. Oh, nice, it worked. <laughs> Our sacrificial horse. All right, let's uh, turn to meet them again. All right, here they come. We're gonna ignore the boss until we get all these other guys out. Yeah, we're not gonna be doing much against him. Let's turn again. Make sure we need to keep a little bit tighter formation. The smaller frontage you have, the less likely you are to get charged by a horse. And the majority of their damage actually comes from the charge. Not so much their weapons. Yeah, see, like, that guy just died because he got charged. He didn't even get hit. All right, we're getting surrounded a little bit here. We can take this guy 1v1, though, I think. Let's back up so he doesn't block. Ooh, wow, he actually tanked it. Okay, so he's got more armor than I thought he did. We're going to use this horse for that boss. I don't think we have enough HP to survive too many more charges from that guy. This guy I'm not too worried about. We can just take him out. Oh, no, that's the boss. Oh, he almost... He basically sliced our guts open. Oh, that hurt really bad. Really lucky he didn't get a, a hit on her head, though. Soldiers, move! Alright, so he's coming back again. Let's get behind this horse. And with any luck... Oh, we're not going to turn in time. Oh, the horse actually blocked. Alright, he's down. And we did lose somebody. Shoulder to shoulder! And move! Oh man, we need to not get charged like that. Actually, he's almost dead, the raid Everyone. boss guy. What I want to do is actually Fire. let them shoot their, their crossbows, because they're not really getting any damage in. They're not using their polearm. So let's stay off to the side and hope this guy doesn't veer off towards us. Oh, what a hit. What a shot. Are you kidding me? I don't know who did that shot, but you just saved everybody. I can't believe we won that. That's insane. 4.3 renown. Chad still survived. We got quite a few levels, and we got a decent amount of levels. We got uh, level 50 in our polearm. We're working our way up on riding, but we still got a little ways to go. Yeah, we're taking all these prisoners for sure, and we will take all the gear as well. So we can finally get ourselves a nice helmet, so we're not going to instantly get killed. And Chad Steel is going to get some upgrades here. So wide leaf spear, an actual looking shield instead of just a piece of cardboard, and then a rugged saddle. So not, not great, but better than what you had before. Now that unfortunately doesn't count as a bandit party so we're not going to get the quest off of that we can't really fight another one until we heal up a little bit so let's go ahead and take braced on 50 pole arm so we can dismount on a heavy hit and let's go heal up yeah let's hang out for a little bit now daily gold change only 50 but at least we're not losing cash and we do have some horses we could sell that would give us quite a bit of money but like i said first thing first let's heal up and actually before i forget let's sell these guys off now this raid boss is insane he's got a falx or a rumphalia he's got some really good gear but unfortunately he's not worth much it's only 275 that's kind of interesting yeah we're only getting 567 for that whole party i was expecting a bit more than that but that's i guess not that big of a deal now as far as animals go we've got step war horse a hunter and we still have that contarian charger so the step war horse is not as expensive but looks like it has better stats yeah a little less hp but it's faster and a lot more charge damage so this is going to be one that we'll probably want to end up riding and we're at 40 we need 60 to get a hunter so why don't we sell we've got five of these things anyways we could sell a couple of these let's sell maybe one and then let's go pick another person up. But let's pick up Anas Bakhmaher. 
1200. Not bad. And again, it's going to be pull arm and riding. So he can actually use the step warhorse. Although I feel like that should probably go to Mr. Chad Steele. No, nope, actually, he already has a step warhorse. Beautiful. So you can take it. And you know, we've actually got a decent amount of money saved up. Let's go ahead and take Schlumpf back again. And this time, second time around, you're going to be Cav. We want to make sure we have good enough movement speeds. So we're not getting picked on by everybody. So let's go ahead and outfit that. Uh, interesting hat. At least it gives you a little bit of armor. So we've got three companions, three cavalry. We've got six archers and we could pick up some more. Let's see. These are the Lan City. These are actually foot troops. Let's go ahead and pick those up. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder for them to, to push us around now. These guys actually go up to tier six. That should be pretty good. And let's go take out that last bandit group that we need. We only need one more. So let's take preferably not two at one. Oh my. <laughs> say preferably not two at once. But uh, now it looks like we're going for like 10 on one. Let's try and pick one of these guys out. All right, if we can get the 17, man, they're just everywhere. All right, here we go. Here we go. Pick on the group of 10. Troops forward! Move! Forward! We'll have our archers get up there and, and try and skirmish with them. Now, I don't know why one of our cavalry is in that group. He should definitely not be in that group, but he wants to be an archer, I guess. Who is that? I should have known it was Chad Steele. Of course. Footman. The rules don't apply. Alright, we're taking people out. We just got our first. Now what we can do is swing around here. Let's, let's actually get our melee infantry. Oh, we don't want to get swallowed up here. Let's go take out that archer. So we'll charge our infantry in. And we'll go deal with this archer back here. Oh, he took... <laughs> that guy has an arrow in his throat. Oh, he's not having a good time already. Man, I can't wait till we get a better horse. This thing is so slow. Right, let's try and take out the guy that's got armor. We can get his gear. Archers are picking him off. Schlump getting a kill. Oh yeah, there's nothing left for us. Nothing left. We just wiped him. 1.4 renown. Now, interestingly enough, got a kill but didn't gain a level from that. I guess it's probably because they're low tier. Yeah, these guys are mostly low tier, so XP is going to be pretty slim. Oh, we'll pick up a few more weapons, and Schlump is getting a better helmet. Oh man, <laughs> you look like you sh it looks almost looks like uh, Ronald McDonald. You just need a little bit of face paint. All right, that quest is done. There's another one, the exact same type, right here, which I think we should do because we do need to make as much money as we can. We're pretty quickly approaching our alley income is almost the same as our party wages so we're going to need to step up the income pretty soon right, we induce the charge just by shooting at him a little bit let's get our infantry up let's get our cab on the side i really wish chad was in here with our our actual cav let's go shield wall all right they're actually not even good they're just bypassing it not ideal Yep, they're just bypassing. I don't know what else we could have done, I guess. So we could have put them in front. I was hoping the archers would get a nice flank, but... Alright, let's, let's get them grouped up. Get this guy in 1v1. There we go. They're actually quite strong in melee, too. Oh, they're finally using their spears, too. I don't know why they weren't using it last time. That would have been nice against the cav. Infantry! Let's go ahead and give them the charge command. And <laughs> our cab is just running into the, the tree. All right, we'll let the archer shoot again. And let's close in and get these guys out of here. There we go. No losses. Almost to renown. And Anas actually got a, a level in writing, but mostly it was our uh, our front line. And we got to head back and sell these prisoners. We're starting to pile up a little bit too many of them. Yeah, we're really slow right now. Let's let's head back before we get ganged up on by all these guys. 170. What is going on here? We're getting. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. We're only getting five, and then these are worth 25. Yeah, because I, I guess I got kind of used to selling slaves in Banner Kings. That was kind of a nice addition in that mod. But all right, we'll adjust our expectations here. Now the alleys are producing less and less income. Oh, I see why. Sargo is badly starving and the prosperity is going down pretty fast. So that's unfortunate, but not much we can do about it. And let's have a chat with Lord Z. We're going to pick him up for 1300. So that puts us at 1800 in the bank. We could probably sell a few things if we needed to, but we're not really in danger of going bankrupt right now. So don't think it's that big of a deal. And you know the drill. We're going pole arm with a shield. Everything else is whatever. So we got a hunter and some civilian gear because we might need these guys to help take 
over Gang Alleys within other kingdoms. Now, we could actually do more within this kingdom. I think we pile up 0.5 per day and you DK one per day so you can get two in each kingdom without gaining criminal rating. We probably should do that, actually. Yeah, the renown gain is going to be fairly slow. We could get a workshop at some point, but we're going to need to save up some cash before we get to that point. So let's go head out. Oh, deserters. And they are out for blood. So we're faster than them slightly. Now, why? Oh, I, I can see why. They've got Falksman. They've got Hero. Yeah, these are all really good Batanian troops. So we don't want to mess with that.